My name is Patrick Murphy. I've lived in Boulder 53 years. The No Plan B Fallacy. Letters about <clears throat> and guest opinion by Bob Yates regarding the CU South Flood Mitigation Project are titled No Plan B. <clears throat> That's not true and a kind of threat to dare to think critically. There will be a vote on the 100-year flood mitigation plan and the agreement with CU this November. Respect to the long, hard effort to create Plan A, but it's a fact that there either is a current Plan B that's been rejected or not fully assessed, or the absence of wise planning for the inevitable Plan B after Plan A fails. A 100-year flood event is based on past data, and unless you're dead, you've noticed that climate has changed, and all those old data are to be thrown out the window. In 2013, Boulder had a 1,000-year rain event and a 100-year flood right through town. Texas just had a 1,000-year flood event, and floods all over the planet provide clear evidence that times have changed. There's always a plan B, because if there isn't, then that's a clear example of poor planning. Here's the thought to consider. What happens after the 100-year flood mitigation has been installed and the 500-year event happens. I asked Bob about this, and he said, quote, that's a risk we all took when we bought houses at the base of a mountain. Great views, but some degree of danger. The city can't protect us from everything, end quote. The city can't protect us from asteroids or fires during a 100-mile-per-hour windstorm. But when that 500-year event happens, will the city say, too bad? So sad? Of course not. We have a plan B that supposedly can't, doesn't exist. Where will the damage occur? How will we escape? Where will we go? There's always a plan B. If not, plan A is worthless. Worthless. The Muni tried to convince us that there's no plan B. Guess what? There's always a plan B.